Hi, y'all. Todd Rogers, you are the, uh... The elusive Todd Rogers from, uh, video gaming history. Beating games and cheating scandal Todd Rogers. You're just a Todd Rogers. Mm -mm -mm. But anyways, thank you for the follow and welcome. You are really no way. Yeah. Oh, poop. I don't want a plan comes together. N not George P Pepperidge Farm guy. What, I ripped the run and no tomatoes? You guys don't even know how to play with new toys. You got new toys, you don't even know how to play with them. Highland. That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for you. Damn it! You got me right in the eye! What? Ow! <laughs> he laughed at me. How'd you hit me in the eye? Who was that? Warlord Zen would be. Got me right in the face. Winner! Clip it! Oh, if you guys were good at clipping things, you would clip that. But you guys suck at clipping things. So, I know that'll never happen. Ha! Oh, Ugly Owl, did you see it? He got me right in the eye. But that'll all, that'll just be gone forever, because no one clips good things on my channel. Ugly Al, have you been here all day for the tomatoes? Sometimes you lurk around and stuff. I don't know if, if you've been here for the creation of the tomatoes. Holy cow, so you don't know how to clip. If you're on the PC, there should be a little clipping thing that clips. How does one clip? So, like, maybe down here in the corner, there's a little, like, action clip thing. And then you do that and do stuff. Big Bear, this game is called Street Fighter 2010. It's a gem of an NES game. Fo show. Sure. Our goal is to beat the game without letting any of the evildoers touch us, not even a single time. Smoke. Remember playing it? Couldn't remember the name. Yeah, this is a game that I played as a kid as well. I never beat it as a kid. I know that. I beat it as a cheater adult. When I was turned on to emulation and save states and whatnot. But now I don't do that. Well, I use save states and emulation to, to practice, but this is a uh, this is a no save state playthrough. Yeah, Big Bear, uh, if you like the reminiscing about old games and you found the right stream, uh, I like to play the old games, but then I like to kick their asses now because we're smarter. Remember when we were kids and the games took advantage of how naive and crappy we were at video games? Well, now is our time because we're adults and kind of old. Uh, but I'm, I'm seeking my revenge on the old games and I'm trying to beat them perfectly. So, uh, if you check, if you check out Slackinator on YouTube, uh, it's the same name. Uh, I have a playlist called Flawless Ness where I try to go through these old video games and I beat them without taking any damage, uh, or, or getting hit or making any mistakes of, of any kind. Uh, I've got quite a few of them done. Uh, I think we're at 26 games now, and I've beaten, uh, Big Bear, I've beaten a bunch of the, like, the notoriously difficult ones. Uh, 
The thing that got the whole project started was it's, it was always thought to be impossible to beat Ninja Gaiden uh, without taking any hits because of uh, an unavoidable hit at the end of the game. Well, we realized there was a way to avoid it, and I became the first person to ever beat that game without damage, and then I got a hard-on for no damage challenges, and I've been doing it ever since. Red Rum and Coke says, it's our time down here. What do you mean? It's our time down here. Courtney says, you free? Courtney, yes! I love that Courtney found our community. It's weird when you find something that fits just perfect. You know what I mean? Everyone knows when they find something, they're like, wow, this goes right here. Yep, that's Courtney in our stream. Uh, have you, have you done no hits in the dark, in the Souls games? So that's, uh, Big Bear. I stick to retro. I've seen a lot of the no hits for some of the newer games, but my, my go-to is old, difficult retro games. So I've done, like I, like I said, I started with Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I've done, like, the, the original Ninja Turtles game was always really hard. Uh, I've done all three Castlevania games, uh, Double Dragon, uh, Ghost and Goblins, um, I don't know, I, it's gonna be hard, whoa, yeah, I, it's gonna be hard for me to list them, because it's easier just to go to that, but, uh, I stick with the, the original retro, con ah, console and games, got him, nope, didn't get him, there we go. Now, it is hard to say all those words, uh, while not getting hit. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Scar, you must not have any potatoes. Oh, it's our time. Red, yeah, red rum and coke. Gotcha, gotcha, Goonies. So, Scar, you can either uh, tier one, 120 get you a baker's dozen tomatoes, or if somebody else tiers 120 and then ats you, they can give you a baker's dozen tomatoes. Or you can get them out of the chests. I also want to do a daily login. That's next, I think. I just think that would be fun. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, gross. There we go. I just think it would be fun to do a daily login to the stream, where if you log in daily, you get your, like, daily amount of XP, uh... Maybe if you do a, a full five-day week login, you get a bonus one key for a big chest. Things like that. I remember how hard Rygar was. Did you know hit that game? Yes. Actually, Big Bear, I have, uh, I have the speedrun world record in Rygar. The, the North American release. So the one, I'm sure the one that you played, there's an, there, the uh, PAL version, the one that was, uh, the European version, is programmed differently and allows you to do different things, and you can go a little faster with that one, but I live in the U.S., and my my game is the uh, the North American release, and I have the, the speedrun world record. Rygar, uh, my record's six minutes and like 40-some seconds. 46, 48 seconds, 648, I can't remember. Mm -mm. So I have a, a glitched no damage run. We have routed it to play the whole game without glitches, uh, though I didn't go through that route. That's, that should be one that we do. Uh, now that I think about it, that's, a, that's definitely a game that needs to be added to the list. So when I started doing these... Uh, <clears throat> When I started doing the no-hit challenges, uh, I didn't have a no-glitch rule set. 
it was just however I could beat them. And then I decided to that it was probably a little bit more enjoyable for people to watch if you didn't allow uh, major glitches. Like Rygar, you can beat in like 40 minutes really casually. And if you use glitches, get out of the way. If you use glitches, you can beat Rygar in less than 10 very easily. So those glitches really take a lot away from the game. And with the flawless challenges, it's kind of fun when you play them more traditionally. So like I said, that's when we started to adapt the no glitch rule. No major glitches. No glitches that skip a lot of the game. Sometimes the game is almost meant to do damage to you. And then in that case, if we need to use a glitch to get past some damage that's otherwise unavoidable, we'll do that. But if it skips out, like in Rygar, we don't even fight any of the bosses. Like the final boss, we go directly to the end of the game and fight the final boss. Hold up, Todd Rogers on TikTok. The Todd Rogers? Nor way. I don't believe it. I don't believe the Todd Rogers is on TikTok. <laughs> that would be pretty funny though. Got lucky there. All right, why don't you come down at me, bro? Nice. That's a that's a really hard room. Hi, y'all. Todd Rogers, you aren't the uh, the elusive Todd Rogers from uh, video gaming history, beating games and. Cheating scandal, Todd Rogers. You're just a Todd Rogers. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, thank you for the follow and welcome. You are really no way, guys. We have a famous person in the chat and TikTok. Fantastic. <laughs> So, uh, John, what I like to do here is I like to, I don't really do the uh, speed running stuff, but I do some video game, uh, challenges and, and, and such with no damage playthroughs. Oh, holy cows, it's on TikTok. When does the streak for tomatoes start? <laughs> uh, we yeah, we're not gonna do that. I'll program that in later. Uh, yeah, Todd, if you go to, uh, it's easier to see what accomplishments we've done on uh, YouTube. I've got a list of them all, but really, my claim to fame. My claim to fame is Ninja Gaiden. Uh, Ninja Gaiden for, well, forever was just, uh, uh, was labeled as impossible to do without damage. The final boss in Ninja Gaiden, uh, when you hit his, uh, the demon, when you hit his head a bunch of times, it falls off and hits you. And it was just always considered it impossible to not take that damage. But we found out if you press the buttons really, really fast, you can destroy the head before it hits you. Uh, but even after the knowledge that you could kill the demon's head, it was still considered to be impossible because no one was going to beat the full game without damage, then pull off that. Uh, and we proved them wrong! This is about, uh... One of my favorite games. Nice! This was about 
three years ago, we did the uh, the No Damage Ninja Gaiden run. Almost three years ago. Ninja Gaiden's a great game. Uh, to beat it without damage is actually not as difficult as most people would think. If you're a fan of Ninja Gaiden and you've played it a lot and you maybe grew up playing it, you more likely than most you know like ways of avoiding damage and it's not particularly difficult once you know where enemies spawn from and 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 once you know all the things knowledge is power now to beat the end without damage is a different story because it requires you to be able to mash the buttons at a very very high rate um the, the final mass is a minimum of 12 presses per second to have a chance at killing the head. Uh, if you want to guarantee that you can kill the head, you're going to need to press 15 presses per second, which is just ridiculously fast. Wrong. Applied knowledge is power. Oh, Schaefer, Rob, I guess. I guess. USA. Mm -mm. Da -da 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 and you'll find that run, uh, Todd, you'll find that on the, the uh, YouTube channel. No, oh, Billy. There's a bunch of them, too. Uh, <clears throat> I like... I like it when people say something is impossible. That's, I, I, I like proving people wrong. And not because I... I guess it's less about proving people wrong and more about solving, solving the puzzle. Nice. So when someone approaches me with like, you can't do this, my first reaction is... All right, well, how can we? Like, exactly why do you think it's impossible? And then it becomes the puzzle. For example, this game is, uh, it's in AVGN's top 10 hardest games. Uh, it's meant to be stupid, stupid hard. Uh, we've solved it. We, yesterday we had a one hit playthrough. This, this playthrough right now still has zero hits. Um, it is possible to do. There was a lot of little puzzles in this run. So in your opinion on Diablo 1, do you still think it's possible? Diablo 1 is possible. We've, we've determined that it is. Now, Diablo 1 is one that I probably... Ooh, just made it. One that I probably would never do because the way to do Diablo 1 without damage uh, would just be kind of stupid. So, Schaefer, essentially, either you would have to grind so incredibly slow... So as soon as you get into a level of Diablo where there's like archers, you would reset and start back at the beginning and you would just grind. But you'd want to grind to a spot where the witch had a potential of dropping a staff of apocalypse. So let's say you didn't want to take 50 years to do it. You would, uh, you would duplicate money so that you could buy powerful spells grind until you're like level eight or six i think it is and then the witch could drop could uh randomly sell you the staff of apocalypse then you would just reload and load the game over and over again until she sold you the staff of apocalypse uh the staff of apocalypse allows you to hit any enemy on the screen no matter where they are <clears throat> which means you could just walk in to a level and then just uh, spam the staff to kill everything. You would duplicate the staff so that you could just have endless staves and you would go through the game that way. It's technically possible, but I think it would be really kind of a stupid run. So I have no desire to do it. You need a lot of magic uh, for that spell, for that staff. Yeah, like I said, there would be some grinding involved. <clears throat> and if you wanted to do it without damage, you would grind the early levels where the guys wouldn't hurt you. Whoop, whoop.
Fwab wob, fwab wob. All right, guys, this is the third time we've made it to this room. This room is the farthest we've made without damage. We always get hit here. Always. It's hard room. We'll see if it happens. Round five. Got it. So far. Alright, this is a PB. We've never been this far without damage. <clears throat> dude, dude, we can get some bad RNG at the beginning of this stage. Let's hope. Perfect flip. I'm a little bit nervous now. This one's got a shot. Uh, do you play select NES games to perfect on the stream? I do take requests, like we, we talk about it on the stream. Uh, I've got a bunch of them that I'm looking to do next, but uh, right now I'm working through AVGN's top 10 hardest games. Hi Slack, hi chat. Slack Matt called and said this is the run. Did he? said to tell the YouTube people to stop being losers and become watch the live stream on Twitch. And now for our song of victory. <laughs> um, so right now, uh, after this, we're going to do Battletoads or Silver Surfer. Those are two left on the list. This boss really sucks, everybody, so it's not over yet. <clears throat> Nice. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we got to hope these guys don't glitch out. These guys can glitch out and not take damage. just made it I just made it over him jumping that was great that's it well we're not done yet I still got to mash fast enough gainer Ladies and gentlemen,
There it is, and another one for the books. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Street Fighter 2010. Beaten without taking a single hit. Release the dogs, we get to move on. Oh, fantastic. Set toast. Wow. That was a great grind. That's like the perfect grind. We had just enough time to really get into the game and then and then develop some cool strategies, grind to get good, have a three hit, a couple two hits, a one hit, and then finish it off. <laughs> Quit throwing tomatoes at me. Oh man, oh no heart rate monitor. The perfect pose, everybody. Oh, look at him out in outer space. <laughs> Quit throwing tomatoes at me. Oh. All right, guys. Battletoads or Silver Surfer? Which one's next?